So this is Paloma in the corrals at the Fort Worth um, Player's Choice makeover when we went to pick her up. Um, and here she is going down the chute, going to load in the trailer. Um, she had pretty decent weight. She looks pretty good, which was nice. And she's um, she's pretty spicy. Here's Sarah oh, was trying to help nice. them get a halter on her because um, she was having none of it. <laughs> She did that for a little while. These guys at BLM are so skilled and so patient. And we really, really like to get a halter on them if we can. It makes things a lot easier. Um, no drag rope, because we were picking up four. And so um, it would have been too dangerous with a drag rope. Um, so yay, he finally got the halter on. Well, it's a good thing you put a halter on her. She was pretty spicy. Nothing on the back uh, one. Load them up. Into our trailer, there's uh, her, and then the one behind her was Erica Hunter's uh, magic mirror. Uh, see, she's not happy about these. Open up! Oh, Monica! <laughs> so here she is with her little freaked out eye <laughs> thing. So I want to say this is maybe day two with her. Um, Sido's trying to get her to, we call face up, trying to get her to stop putting her butt at him and, and kind of face him. And then I think when she, she I mean, and then also she, he's kind of desensitizing to the rope. And then right here you can see she kind of, um, He's kind of stopping her from bolting away, and then oop, she looked at him and he stops. That's what he wanted her to do. And he couldn't get near to her, so he ended up roping her. Um, she wasn't fond of the rope. And it's a soft rope. It's a, what we call like a, it has a Buck Brandman Hondo on it. Um, and then it got around her back legs, so she didn't like that too much either. Um, these pens are 24 by 24. It's kind of a nice area to work them in. There she goes. She kind of face up to him. I love this video. She, I told him he must stink because she like really got into sniffing him. And she's a sniffer. She likes to sniff things. So she was seriously checking stink. him out. Too cute. <laughs> So I'm going to explain what he's doing here. So he's using this as a whip, kind of touching her with it, getting used to it. And then um, you'll see he kind of works up to getting to touch her face. Do you see that? Um, because he wants to clip a lead rope onto that halter and she's not having that hand anywhere near her face. So he did a lot of work with that, that whip. And then now with the rope, just touching her face with it, getting her used to having her face touched. Um, because it's their muzzle especially it's super sensitive um, so this was just a lot of patient work just getting her more and more used to having her face touched so then he could clip a, a lead rope onto that halter um, and that helps him get to work with her a little bit better and he always likes to touch him between the eyes first like that and then kind of rub her on her body it's kind of a long video, but this is this is what it's like training one. She got her that day. He got her um, her number off, and then um, he found an itchy spot. Because if you can find an itchy spot, it's it's awesome. But this is this is what it's like. I mean, it's just a lot of repetitive stuff. It's a lot of just um, pushing them far enough, but not too far. Making sure you stay safe like he's kind of putting his hand up there to block her from kind of coming over him and she didn't care for that too much and then um, it it was still pretty warm then so we had some flies so his fly spraying her and um, it's a that's a great tool in itself you could fill a water bottle just full of water and spray him with it and great way to kind of get him used to things touching their body um, I think he had already done the water and then this is the actual fly spray. 
so she was a little more used to it. Um, so this is her in the ROM pen. Um, still really early days, just getting her to... He does a ROM pen after um, he can get up and touch them and halter them and lead them around. And then he does this. Um, he doesn't do it the other way around. And you can see she, she picks up things fast. Um, she's always kind of hugs him and not really wanting to be on the rail. I mean, there's scary stuff on the rail too. <clears throat> and this is funny. This is a good video. <laughs> this is the first time she's seen the beer back pad. <laughs> and she was like, what is that? It's going to kill me. Um, so he, he always puts the bear back pad on first because it's, it's nice and light and easy and you can, um, I love his technique on, you know, getting that, them used to that girth coming under. He just kind of swings it. And then, I mean, you got to see what they're willing to, to tolerate. So you can see it comes around on this other side and, and she's just not quite ready for that girth to be tightened yet. Um, and instead of forcing her, uh, you'll see he will be like, okay, she's not ready for that. So now he's going to break it down a little bit. Let me desensitize her with this rope first. He swung the rope there. He's using his hand more. Um, instead of just trying to quickly do it and scare her, he's just kind of preparing her a little bit better. Some horses are okay. You can do it. And she was telling him that she wasn't quite ready. So it's just that simple. Break it down into as small steps as you can as the horse needs. Um, so and then he does that and she's kind of she's uncomfortable but she's not to the point where she wants to like get out of there and that's perfect. Um, and then he was able to tighten it right there. He's got one hand kind of holding hers so she can't kick him and then one hand um, tightening it. Um, and so he flips that back up there because it's going to flop down on her back and he wants to see what her reaction is going to be. And she didn't have one, which was great. And then here's her first saddling. Um, so I want to say this is probably a month in. Um, that's how long it took him to get that first saddle on because um, she just wasn't ready. Um, so same thing, he's really making sure she's prepared before he tightens that girth. Um, so I just wanted to kind of show you that. And she kind of, she hit the, the cinch with her foot and spooked well, her, but though. I love her reaction because she just kind of spooked a little bit. She didn't lose it. And then this was kind of the problem when she, when he tightened that girth, like she didn't want to move. Um, so he's trying to get her to move. That was kind of her MO. She'd just kind of freeze up. Um, and she didn't have, it was interesting because she never bucked with the saddle um, at all. Um, she did have some a little bit of bucking and scooting when he rode her, but, but when the saddle was put on, um, she was pretty cool with it being up there. Oh, she's such a pretty mover. Um, so so we had a really big, her, her sitter had a hard time um, working with those back feet. Like she was not having any of it um, for, for a long time. I mean, we're like tucking into month two here and still working on those back legs so he's got a rope on it just to kind of protect himself to control her foot a little bit better and to kind of get her used to something touching it um and yeah she was not fond it took a while but she's great now it took a while definitely a step you don't want to skip Um, and this is her best friend, the tarp here. Um, so he took a while desensitizing her first before he, I mean, he didn't just throw it up there. And then, I mean, even so, she's kind of like, ooh, touch my butt. Don't touch my butt. So uh, this is the next stage before he, I mean, he's ever going to get up there. He wants to make sure things can be up there. Oh, he's long lining her here. Um, I didn't, for some reason, I didn't get video of it, but man, she kept kicking up that darn rope. And then, um... She just kind of ran away. And this was her first bridling. <laughs> it didn't quite go as planned. She was not, not thrilled about it. 
Um, super easy to bridle now. But it's just, you know, doesn't go as planned. I, mean, I love Hasidol's reaction. He just kind of like, oh well, oops. <laughs> he kind of slowly worked it up there. He just never really gets upset about anything, which is nice. And she's like, what is this? Her mouth is so funny. That's good girl. Oh, he's um, getting her ready to for him to kind of stand up in the stirrup. So he's seeing how she will kind of balance and brace herself for when he puts his weight in the stirrup and then like let her not be worried if that saddle moves a little like that. You can see him limping. So she like nailed him in the right no, knee. I don't have food go away. Oh, here's Lumpy. Lumpy's one of my mistakes. <laughs> He's saying hi. He just thinks I have food. Um, so that's why you can see him kind of limping here. Because um, she, he was coming, like he had stood up in the saddle and then came down and she nailed him in the knee. She cow kicked him. Um, so he's moving like an Lumpy old man. Though. So he's getting, using that leg because the right knee hurts. So he's like, I'm just going to stand up in the stirrup with this leg. And lots of jumping up and down on either side and lots of just little mini steps. Because she's, I mean, she's pretty nervous about all this stuff. But she was like, oh, I don't like that. It feels weird. And then he finally ended up getting up there. Um, both sides bunch of times before he ever swung his leg over just a whole lot of up and down up and down and the weather's just starting to turn here it's starting to get cold so we're in northeast Arizona and, and it gets cold uh, I didn't realize it got this cold but it gets cold here she is for her promo video her promo photos pretty girl I'm starting to get her winter coat though and it's another day he's just still doing a lot of up and down up and down um, it's almost two months before this first ride here. This is going to be our first ride. And the problem we ended up having um, is she didn't want to move. She got stuck there. Um, he's sitting up there and she just kind of froze. Um, tried helping from the ground. It didn't really work. I'm like trying to get her to move, like do enough pressure where we get her to move, but not too much pressure where she takes off. Um, so I think what he ended up doing is he had to get back off her. We had to um, reinforce the groundwork to move forward. And then he got back up on her and uh, we were able to get her to move forward. And um, here she is actually walking now. This is her first ride. There was some scooting and some other things. Um, and then I wasn't there um, because I think it was maybe her second or third ride where she kind of took off and crow hopped and he went to pull her head around and she went straight up and flipped over on top of him and he couldn't walk for a couple weeks um, it jacked up his whole left side because um, she has like a super hypersensitive mouth uh, so I think that after that is when we took her to get her teeth looked at because we figured something was going on because she was so sensitive um, but here she is and he says he's re she's really smooth and this is her um, second ride maybe and I'm on the ground um, getting her to go. And I asked her to go there. So here we took her to the vet. Um, the vet's an hour away, so it's a trailer ride. So we took her over there and um, she ended up having um, an, like an infected cap that got stuck and, and he pulled, you know, sedated her and pulled it off and um, her mouth was much better. Oh, this was, we took her on a trail ride. <laughs> he spooked at the tarp. So here we are working on the tarp. Cool. Um, and she's so funny. <laughs> Good girl. So yeah, we're just, we want to try and expose him to as much as we can. And here she is being ridden on a trail ride before I just pulled her. This is her first actual trail ride. Right um, we live kind of out in the middle of nowhere. So you can kind of see there's a whole lot of nothing. And she was great. She did so good. And here we are um, getting nice and warm because it's starting to get good really cold. Girl. <laughs> On December, she went to a tip challenge show and you tell got to that play bridge. with some stuff. <laughs> and that was fun. She won, uh, she got a first and second and some in hand stuff, which was really cool. Um, and then here's Jeff Cook on Eddie. 
his magic mare, and a sitter on Paloma. And here I'm just playing with her. Um, a lot of fun teaching her some. She's so smart. She, she was easy to teach any kind of trick to. And here she is kind of at loose liberty and side passing up to me. <clears throat> Which is like her favorite thing to do. <laughs> if you stand up on anything, she'll side pass up to you. She's too funny. And then uh, it snowed a lot. And then it snowed again. And it ruined our arena and we could, she couldn't be ridden and she couldn't canter. So here it dried out a little bit since so it was working on his freestyle. And um, I mean, this, we're actually probably the most prepared for this freestyle. And this is our arena, it was just soup. Here's our first bath. We went over to Nate Iker's ranch in Texas and she was able to get her first bath because it was too cold where we were. And uh, now she's a show horse. And here he is practicing his freestyle there. She learned how to, I was trying to teach her to pee off, all she learned to do was shake her butt. So we used it. There she is shaking her butt. <laughs> she's so cute. And so we put that in the freestyle and I hope that's what people knew that's what she was doing. Um, and then this one was a lot better than he actually did in the performance. So she, she side passed up to him really good here. Um, so he's just practicing it at Nate's place. And then here we're I at can't Ginger help Duke's, that, but I'm not um, fighting. her parents' place in, in Texas. I'm just um, talking. And Sid was just practicing his... I'm telling you what I see. She was really fresh that day. It was cold. And he brought her for a little bit just to kind of get her to chill out. And he's just practicing doing his straight line and stopping. That's where um, Ginger does her trick riding stuff in that, in that arena. It's really cool to watch. And Sidro got to take do a photo shoot for the Mustang Book Project, which was um, phenomenal and a lot of fun. This is kind of behind the scenes of that. Um, it was a lot of fun. Um, Rhonda Gregorio is, is making that book. I'll put a link in here. And then they went out um, to the stockyards and went on a trail ride. And then everybody posed under the big stockyard sign. And it was super fun. Here we are arrived at Fort Worth uh, at the makeover. And here's Paloma's stall and her tack room all prettied up. Um, here we are, like, I want to say maybe 3 o'clock in the morning oh, or crash, something, crash, <laughs> trying to practice uh, the compulsories. And then you just saw Luke there. Luke won it. He ended up winning the magic. And oh, um, Paloma? But, yeah, it's in order to nice get into these arenas, it, they're so busy <laughs> with the stock right, show that like we back. had to get up at like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning to get out there. So here he is trying to practice yeah, his real, like, compulsory routine, which was later on that morning. <clears throat> and she had a she got a little fun break after that. Anytime you can get them and let them roll, I mean, that take it. And so this arena was open. I threw her in there. She had a nice roll. She's a happy girl. The sitter was getting interviewed for the Mustang Cook Project. And here's his maneuvers class. This is the first class to prepare or to qualify for the finals. Um, they did okay. I think they ended up maybe fifth or something. And then the handling conditioning. She did fantastic and she looks great. Um, you know, we feed Total Equine, Excel EQ. I used Dr. Show shampoo and she just like looked phenomenal. She ended up uh, second in this class, um, which was great. We're super happy with that. Um, here he is doing his compulsory maneuvers. This is part of the score that goes along with the freestyles to determine the winner. Um, and she did pretty good um, for the most part. She gets a little like bouncy in her in her halt and tossing her head a little bit there, which we prefer she didn't do. Um, nice back. And I just kind of cut it short because this video was getting really long, so um, nice little, you know, turn around and side pass. Uh, this is the trail class. Wasn't her best class. She really doesn't like all those people on the rail and it spooked her quite a bit. Um, but she got through everything. It took a little while. Um, 
so she didn't score great in this class, but she did so good in the other ones, it was fine. They were, they were going to be in top ten. And then it's so funny because this uh, next little clip is her on the bridge, and like she's literally been over a million bridges, and it was this bridge she didn't want to go over. <laughs> so I'm like, of course it's this bridge. It's the bridge in the competition. I mean, it's kind of this scary, weird, light gray color, and then it has those things on the side, and so, um, you know, you learn something at every makeover, and she's yep. definitely going to need to, or we'll definitely make one of those, so whatever horse we have. Here we are, 2 o'clock in the morning, I set up the whole freestyle, so we'll practice it a few times, and um, it's still, like, all that's lit up, like, 24-7. Well, here she is watching, watching TV, There's a horse so down. cute. She's just so cute. <laughs> Her face. She's like, what so is cute. that? <laughs> I'm gonna put it away. Um, here they are. Um, walking through. You can just see how, and this is nothing. Like, it gets way busier um, later in the day. But this is pretty sure they're gonna go get their top 10 photographs taken. Um, and Mustang Hedder Foundation takes a picture with um, all the top 10 other horses. So you're just getting this picture with Paloma. She does not ever put her ears forward. It's the weirdest thing. And here she is all dressed up for her freestyle. And so we um, we were trying to just get out of the barns because it's just so loud and so many people everywhere. So there's this quieter arena. We went and hung out over there. But it was fun for the people to get to see her all dressed up. And here I have her whole freestyle for you guys to watch. Um, we uh, didn't really practice with the mask. It had just showed up. I had to ship it to a friend, um, Amanda Bradford, and she brought it up to us because it, it didn't come in time, so we weren't able to practice with the mask. Um, so Sidor can't see. So <laughs> he knocks over the cones because he's like, couldn't see anything. And I was supposed to secure it better, um, but I was driving the truck, so it couldn't happen. And then this was so funny because in the movie Coco, um, he that you know falls into the water so sitter is over here and he's falling into the water and the music goes with it but um i think that like crowd didn't get it like he did too good of a job of falling and so the whole crowd was super quiet <laughs> it's just like oh my gosh maybe they didn't get it he's supposed to fall off that was part of it he fell off into the water slash tarp and then here she she does her little shake her butt move which is just the funniest thing ever does not a pee off <laughs> You gotta, you gotta work with what you got. Um, and then he just didn't quite line her up for, I mean, she still came up to the mounting block, but it, it's not as good as what she And she's done this bridge so many times, and um, she's supposed to rock on it, but she does. And then she almost falls flat on her face. <laughs> so, oops! And then right here is Cyril. Um, he can't really see, so he's supposed to side pass or do a half pass, leg yield something through there. Um, and she does it okay. Uh, that one was a little bit better, but he can't see. Which is he picks up the long lead, of course. So here he's supposed to do a nice little like figure eight circle with a lead change. And he couldn't see, so he's like, I'm just gonna gallop around. <laughs> she was going kind of fresh and so he just kind of went with it. Probably lost a bunch of points doing that and she kept cross cantering. And, um, so then he's just like, you know what? We're just gonna gallop. <laughs> he's like, I lost my mask, it's not working. Let's just go with it. And that's what a freestyle is. Woo! You just kind of got to go with what you go with. So you just start bouncing around. 30 seconds. He's supposed to do some spins on it and stuff. He's kind of running out of time. He's such a good girl. He's like, okay, girls. 
there's a sort of simple routine. So I was like, I'm just gonna gallop. I was just sitting there going, what are you doing? It was fun though. So she did a really nice little like turn around here and then he's supposed to go the other way and run out of time. Thank you. Thank you. She took some phenomenal pictures. I love these pictures. She looks so cool. She's just galloping around. And then her little fifth, she got fifth place, which we were super happy with. And he's got his mask on backward. Here she is. We brought her back home. We're so happy to bring her back home. And she's galloping with, the, with all of our Mustang herd. Um, they have a hundred acres out there they can gallop around on, and um, she was the last <laughs> one. I don't know. Yeah. She was hung hanging out back there. <laughs> it's more burrow. And then I think there's a couple days later, like she still has Pretty paint on cute. her, and she's loose on a hundred acres, Pretty and I love cute. it that I could just walk up to her and and pet her, and she just follows you around everywhere, and she's a happy girl. Water, huh? So cute. from wild to That's this little cute. sweetheart right here. It's a great journey. Your paint on your face. Love this mare. Such a pretty girl. Pretty Paloma. With her paint still on. <laughs> it's coming off silly but surely. Thanks for watching.